welcome back. Okay, please be patient with me here. <laughs> yes, this looks big, and yes, this was definitely a trial. This was probably the hardest build I've ever had to do for a request. Darian requested that I build a castle, and Darian has been so patient. Darian's name came up two weeks on my list, and I have built, rebuilt, torn down, rebuilt again, trying to get this castle. My problem was I'm not into the medieval theme, and I have no sense of style at all when it comes to that. So a couple of days ago, and I have stayed in contact with Darian just to let them know, you know, I've been working on your request. I'm failing. Be patient, please. And Darian has been so very patient. But what I decided to do was to make it an old castle but redo the inside into a bed and breakfast. So in other words, the owners have taken this old castle and bought it and completely gutted it and made it into a bed and breakfast. Now, when you look at the outside, it still looks like a castle, but the inside, you're just gonna see hints of an old style. It is very traditional when we walk in and each of the suites are themed differently. So this is the entrance here. And this is just an area where the guests would sign the guest book. And of course, I still have the old castle door here and some of the older windows and doorways, but I've just put a nice decorative table here and a rug, a very simple entrance. And you did see the wall around it, which I'll show you in better detail toward the end. This is the lobby slash check-in area. And there is a door out the back so the person who is working there can check in guests in the morning or check them out in the afternoon. And that's just the view from down the stairs. So there's a door over here to the right and that's just a coat closet where guests can store their coats as they come in and out. And then through this doorway, there is a lounge area where a couple could have a drink and just relax there. I use the socialite wallpaper and one of the newer black fireplaces. This is the kitchen here. So this is where the owners would make the breakfast in the morning. I put the new waffle iron there and what I think looks like a Keurig coffee maker, but I think it is actually a tea maker. And here is the downstairs bath. That's where guests would just have access to the restroom. It's not a full bath. It's just a half bath there. And I've included that beautiful towel rack from the farmhouse. And here is the dining area where the guests would come down in the morning and have breakfast served to them. And I know you've probably seen me use these Japanese cabinets lately as built-ins. And I just happen to think it would also be perfect for this room because it sort of matches that dining table. So that's just a dining room for the guests. And on this side of the house slash castle over here is a hallway that leads you into a library. So I've just put some bookshelves here and some of those newer chairs and one of those tables on either side and left the middle open so that two groups of people could go in there and read. In here, and you're probably already noticing a lot of this is not my style at all. So I have stepped out of my comfort zone. I use this older wallpaper, the old fireplace with the new green sofas and chairs. Honestly, I don't like them at all. But for the style, I thought they really suited that room, and that was the parlor. And out here is a little courtyard and small pool area where the guests can just take a quick dip if they want to, and it looks beautiful at night as well, lit up by the pool there. So that is the first floor of the castle, now bed and breakfast, and you see the wall wrapped around it. And that's what it looks like on the first level, so we're gonna go upstairs to the second level, where we start the guest suites. Up here on the landing, I've put two comfortable chairs, just arranged them there with a picture. And here is a little, it's not really a kitchenette, but there's a wine fridge there, a coffee bar, and some small snacks there for the guests. I thought that would be good for after hours, after the kitchen's closed. And then through here, there's a hallway, and you come into what I'm calling the villa suite. So I've used the Villa Furniture. I like that nice dark wood. I use that when I can, when it suits a build, but since I was gonna theme these differently throughout the castle, I decided to definitely use it in here. And then we have their ensuite bath and large walk-in closet as well. And also a TV on the wall. I tried to include TVs in most of the guest suites. 
Here is what I'm calling the blue suite. So for obvious reasons, I have the beautiful blue king bed, a white dresser, I put the blue salt lamp in there, a blue chair, and then it has double smaller closets here. And then if you walk adjacent to it, it's not an ensuite because I had to have that divider there to make different levels, but we can just kind of pretend and it has a smaller bathroom for that suite. So that's that wing on the second floor of suites. And then coming through on this side, we just have a little square hallway here. And this is what I'm calling the modern suite. So I've used the black and gold furniture. And I also forgot to mention, I tried to put these in most of the suites because I think it looks like one of those cute little gift sets you get, the complimentary toiletries in the uh, guest rooms. And then it has dual closets on that side as well. And then it has a bath that's also adjacent to it that is a private bath. I use these spa bath items in most of the home because I think they pretty much go with everything. So just to kind of keep some things uniform, since the guest suites are so different, I decided to keep the bathrooms sort of with the same fixtures, except in some of them I did include the villa sinks because I think they also blend very well. So this area here where you go up to the third floor, I wanted to take advantage of this space and use it as a small TV area since there really isn't one. That way the guests could take advantage of that. And then you come up here to the third floor where I've just decorated a pretty landing up there. And then there's a door here and we have the Latin suite. I hadn't used the Latin furniture in a very long time. And I happened to think about this wall color and how it would go with that. And I love how it turned out. And the salt lamp goes beautifully with it too. I have a nice relaxing chair over there. And yes, it does just have the double bed instead of the king size bed, but this suite would be what you call a deluxe suite. You can see I did do a different bathroom on that to carry the Latin theme over and it has a closet too, but it would be a deluxe suite and probably cost more money because you see the spiral staircase here. It pops up to a private lounge that is just for that suite. So I've continued sort of the Latin theme up here with the fireplace and the table and I've brought some beautiful reds up here. They have their own bookshelf and they also have access to the roof where they have these beautiful views on all sides of the castle. So I think layout wise, this would be my favorite suite, even though the decor isn't to my taste. That I think is a pretty cool thing if you could stay in a castle and have a two story suite to stay in at a bed and breakfast. So coming back out onto the landing and through this little hallway here, there is a pink suite. You know how much I love this furniture. It just doesn't go with a lot of themes of homes that I build. So I wanted to take advantage and use it in here. And I also love that flower arrangement and the new pictures. And I just thought it all came together very well. And then of course, to go along with it, we have a pink bathroom. So that's the pink suite and that's the third floor. And you saw the fourth floor from the Latin suite that has the lounge above, but there is one other level that I need to show you, and that is coming all the way down to the lobby where the desk area is right there. There is a set of doors that goes back there, and you'll find another door that goes down into the basement. Now, this would be the original cellar, but they've converted it into a laundry area to do the guest laundry, as well as put some freezers in there. And those little lights actually look like drains, so I thought it would be pretty cool to put those in the floor near the washer and dryer. So that's the castle. And I also want to mention, especially those of you who are new and don't know, feel free to join the Sims Free Play Architects Facebook group so we can see each other's designs. We are having a lot of fun in there showing our houses to each other, so feel free to join that and I can see what you make, not just you seeing what I make. So we're just taking a look at the furniture. And after that, we'll go to the grid. I do want to mention before we go to the grid that I'm just going to be showing you the measurements on the screen, but I'm not showing you all the dividers and all of the wall. And the reason for that is because I had so much difficulty building this. To some people, this may be a simple build, and I admire those who this would be a simple build for. But for me, this was not a simple build at all. And to be honest with you, even just trying to go back and show you the layout and give you the measurements was a challenge. 
So if you want to try to recreate this, I will give you the measurements, but I can't help you too much on where I put all these little dividers to make the different levels and all of that. I'm hoping that the rest of you who are watching this can just take what I've done here and get some ideas from it, if that makes sense. If for nothing else, just the way some of the rooms are. But we're on the second floor now, just looking at the suites, and then we're going to go up to the third floor after looking at the bathroom. I will be honest, once I figured out to you know make this into a bed and breakfast instead of doing a medieval style castle, it did become a lot more enjoyable. So Darian, I don't want you to think I didn't have fun building this because once I figured out what I was going to do, it did become a lot more fun, and especially once I had the layout done. Needless to say, this was not a room by room build by any means. This definitely took some planning and some going back and deleting walls and all of that. So, you know, again, you're going to have to excuse me if I don't give you really good specifics on the layout itself. But, Darian, I really hope, and you'll see the measurements come up here in just a second, I really hope that if you wanted this to be medieval, you could just take the layout for what it is and then just decorate the rooms the way you'd like them to be. So there's the entrance there. And then I think I did the coat closet next. And then here's the dining area. And you'll see the dividers as we go. There's the bath, the kitchen, and then the lounge area and the stairway which is really the lobby and then there's the library and then we have a small hallway here and then there's a divider there and then a parlor so that's what the downstairs looks like up here there's the landing with the small kitchenette the tv and stair area and then we have another small hallway there the villa suite and then you'll see the dividers over there to the right we have the villa bath and the villa closet over here are dual closets and the blue suite and then adjacent to that across from the divider is the blue bath down here is a square hallway then the modern bath is right beside that and then there's a divider there and then we have the modern suite and the dual closets that are one by three each, same as on the other side. Up here is the third floor landing. Then there's a small hallway there, the pink suite, the pink bath, the Latin suite, the Latin bath, and then the Latin closet. And then you pop up those spiral staircase above there and the Latin lounge at the top of the castle. And then down below, I'll give you the measurements for the basement as well. So when you come up, you'll see the wall actually wraps all the way around. It's of course just a one square wide wall. It just and it breaks up right here where this entryway is. Otherwise, it just goes all the way around the property one square in, except for in the front, it's three squares in. So I hope that helps anyone who's trying to recreate this. And if you do try to recreate it, bless your heart and good luck. <laughs> but I wanna really thank you, Darian. Special thanks to you for being so very patient with me. You don't know how much I appreciate it. I know you sat and watched me post other builds, but I did keep in contact with you and let you know I was working on it and sure enough I was. So. I hope that you at least give me an A for effort. So everyone else, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this too. If you did, please give me a like. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video.